pounder. There goes Pounder. Alexander. Marcus Stewart now. There it is, 3-1. Marcus Stewart gets one in there. Rovers needed that, took it superbly. David. One of the few positives to emerge from Martin Dobson's brief and unloved reign was the league debut he granted to Marcus Stewart. Stewart moves into the side of the 18-yard box. They'll look for Devon White. He's got away from Garnet. It's a great effort. And it's a goal. It's turned in by number 10, Marcus Stewart. Highly rated inside the club, but virtually unknown beyond it, the former England schoolboy international scored three goals in his first two Rovers appearances. After his early baptism, Marcus remained second fiddle to top scorer Carl Saunders and only grabbed two more goals that season. This is better from the Rovers now. Skinner, Bob Bloomer, with a good ball from Skinner. Bloomer now attacking the left side. Good run from Bloomer. Tries the shot. Stewart, it's in there! Marcus Stewart has done it. It's a beautiful goal. And the Rovers have turned this game. However, it was clear that Rovers had unearthed a diamond. The arrival of Malcolm Allison was good news for Marcus, who was given his longest run yet in the first team squad. Allison's faith was vindicated in the Bristol Derby. Channing. Well, oh, that's a good ball to Hardy, man. Rovers players loads up there. Ball comes in. 2 now. Rovers second. And Marcus Stewart is the hero. What a goal. John Ward was unable to perform the miracle needed to keep Rovers up, but Marcus displayed magical talents. Marcus continued to be recognised by England, who selected him in the under-21 squad on no less than 10 occasions. However, despite finishing like this... Stewart, goal! Marcus Stewart! He never played a game at that level. Despite an erratic 93-94 season, West Ham offered £450,000 for Marcus Stewart's services. Jeff Dunford said, do I look wet behind the ears? Channing. Tilson, goal! That's a brilliant goal, and this time it's Marky Marcus Stewart. He's done it. 3 1. Three one down to Tuthill. Batches. Oh, what a. An and it's another goal. What a marvellous goal from this brilliant young centre forward. Clark. Fine ball. Stewart's there. What a strike is there! Is that classic? What a goal! It's Stewart, and that is brilliant! Goals, goals, goals in the league and in the FA Cup at Luton Town. This goal at Brighton continued a scoring run which totaled nine consecutive appearances, thus breaking Di Ward's 39-year-old club record. Two and a half months later, untimely injury and the dramatic emergence of Gareth Taylor meant that Marcus was still looking for his next goal. When he returned to the side, Rovers needed to beat relegated Cardiff to secure a playoff place. Go! No! Yes! It is now! Stewart, I think, is going to claim that. Victory over Crewe in the playoff semi final gave Marcus the opportunity to fulfil one of his goal scoring dreams by finding the net at Wembley. Stewart is there! And Rovers have done it now! It's Rovers 1, Huddersfield 1! Marcus Stewart! And a good ball by Taylor. That was quality, that pass. This is Stewart, look at Sterling. 
What a shot from Stewart! That was quality from the Rovers youngster there. Stewart does well. Great run. Pass it over, would you believe it? Well, Stewart with a most fantastic shot. And twice Rovers have been within a whisker. I can't believe it. To the screen soccer boys and thousands more, Stewart was clearly the best player on the Wembley pitch and deserved to be on the winning side.